It's really just a few bad apples, and I think that this will really clean it up in that regard. The city of Winnipeg is considering regulating short-term rentals that will see stricter rules to accommodations like Airbnb properties. Both sides of short-term rental owners and also neighbors um, have been asking for regulation, even as a short-term rental host. I think it's great to have regulation. It brings a higher standard in general. Recommendations by the city's public service include a 5% accommodation tax applied to the rental booking purchases, licensing short-term rental properties, as well as occupancy restrictions such as limiting to adults per bedroom. Ownership restrictions are also being proposed, like restricting operators to no more than one property in a non-residential zone, aside from their primary residence. They will only be allowed in commercial, multifamily, and the downtown area. So essentially anyone who has a house as an Airbnb right now in a residential zone will be restricted. So we just hope the city will grandfather those in because there's a lot of livelihoods um, related to those. City Councillor Marcus Chambers says a lot of businesses are run out of residential areas and there needs to be a balance. Short-term rentals or Airbnb and VRBO platforms are not the only businesses that are in residential context. So what we have to do is strike a balance between uh, the residential neighborhoods and the businesses that are operating in them. The city began exploring regulations in 2021 following noise and safety complaints from people living around some short-term rental properties. We've been hearing a lot about, you know, wild parties that are going on or nefarious activities, including uh, common body houses. The city held a survey in the summer of 2022, asking residents for feedback on these properties to determine the best approach towards regulations. The recommendations will be considered by the Executive Policy Committee on Tuesday, and if passed, we'll see a vote by council. Chambers says the purpose is to regulate for the overall good of everyone involved. I, you know, I know that there are uh, some operators that feel that uh, they're being penalized. Uh, this is not that, but we have to protect, you know, both the industry and those that are using the uh, those services. Make sure that we're not leading, uh, contributing to the decline of neighborhoods. I think when you're trying to come up with a solution that both people like, neither is going to be happy. But but again, there's a balance. In Winnipeg, Timmy Olatunde, City News.